Hi everyone. So we are moving on today to chapter 13 and chapter 14. So here are the words that uh, we need to focus on. Um, some of them are words that we might not have seen written down. Some of them are words that um, that we might be sure about. So I'm not going to move my mouse again just because um, it's going to bring up that black box at the bottom and I don't want to cover any of the words. So I'm going to start in the first box and the first word is bony. If something is really bony, uh, it might be quite skinny. It might not have a lot of fat on it or a lot of um, meat or muscle on it. So you might be able to like see their bones. So like if an animal is very sick or maybe a person um is starving or they don't have enough food or enough nourishment, you might describe them as bony because you might be able to see all their bones. The next one is eager. If you are eager to do something, you really, really, really want to do it. So I'm really eager to, or I'm really eager for COVID to end. I really want it to end. I want it to happen right now if I could. The next one is stenciled. So um, if something is stenciled, you might use a stencil to uh, draw it. Um, I just wanted to put that one in because you might not, not have ever seen that word written down. Next one is fiend. If someone is a fiend, it, they might not be the best word to describe them. They might not be a very nice person. Um, they might be trying to get something off you or maybe even to harm you. Pearly. We usually use this word with pearly white. So um, if something is described as pearly white, um, it's kind of like a shiny, uh, nice, glowing white, maybe even like if you think of really white teeth, that kind of a, um, it's not totally white, but it uh, has a kind of a sheen to it, like a pearl might do. If you ever see someone who has a pearl necklace, it's that color white. A goatee is a type of beard, uh, like a shape, the way you can have different like hairstyles um, like plaits or straight hair, or curly hair or um, like a fringe or comb over. You can also have different shaped beards and a goatee is uh, one of those. Then we have three words, enraptured, enchanted and marvellous. Enraptured um, means if someone is enraptured, they're like totally entranced by something. Um, and they can't maybe take their eyes off it, they can't stop thinking about it. Enchanted, the same type of um, meaning. If you're enchanted by something, you're like, might be under a spell. And marvelous, sorry, um, lost my train of thought for a second. Um, I know you might hear Taffy barking, very rude, interrupting our videos. Um, and the last one is marvelous. Um, we've seen this a few times come up in um, in our book, but I wanted to draw your attention to it again so you, because Roald Dahl uses this word all the time. If something is marvelous, it is amazing. All right, click on to the next slide to hear me reading chapter 13 and chapter 14 and open up your books on page, I'll tell you now, page 65, and you can read along with me.